so pretty. All right, here we go. First run of the Traxxas 4GT. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely get it drifting. That's all wheel spin. It's slow, but it's quirky. I didn't read any documentation yet, so I'm not actually sure if the XL5 ESC is in LiPo mode or not. Just catch it in and it... batteries are low already. I did not charge these before coming out. But man, that's a pretty car. It's so pretty. That thing's awesome. That was the first hard hit. Oh well. Yep, hit a curb. <laughs> first time out, hit a curb. That's full throttle the whole time, just all full throttle. <laughs> That's stock top speed, which is pretty tame, but when you hit an immovable object, it's enough to cause significant damage. Damage report from the first drive with the 4 GT Fortec 2.0. Uh, I do have some marring here. I did hit a curb on either side of the front bumper. Let me just pop the body off so you can see under the light. So I did get some curb rash there and it's even worse on this side. It goes all the way up but you know buff that out a bit and it might become a little bit less noticeable. It's not bad. Really that's it. The, um, the back end got no damage whatsoever. And it doesn't look like there's any wear points on the inside either. So I did no prep to this body, none whatsoever. Oh, I guess there is a little bit of wear on the inside of right there. There was a little bit of a touch. But it doesn't look like there's any noticeable body scrubbing from any tires or, or body marks. So that's good. I might still put some Gorilla Tape Clear on the inside just to help it out a little bit, last a little bit longer. Never keep it pristine unless you just put it on a shelf. So it's meant to be driven, meant to have fun with. Here's the chassis and uh, I just ran this 2s lipo battery down till it hit uh, low voltage so the the esc did come in its low voltage protection mode so that's good and i just drove it around a parking lot you can hear the pebbles and stuff fall out of it no chassis wear that i can really see maybe a little bit of nicks but no no big gouges or anything And the tires themselves are seem to have pretty much no wear for significant wheel spin. When you're full throttle, you're getting four wheel peel almost all the time. 
That's why you can drift it out so nice. With its torquey gearing that it comes with out of the box. And it's a low enough speed where if you crash it into something like a curb full speed, you're not going to destroy the car. So that's probably why it came like that. Now this car will have a speed pinion included. So I'll likely put that in almost immediately. Maybe I'll drive it one more time with the stock pinion, but maybe not. Next time, it'll be a little bit faster. That'll be the next video that I record will be a bigger pinion. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hit that like button if you like this. Share it around if you've got someone looking for one of these cars. And even better, hit that subscribe button, which will be somewhere at the end of this video. Usually it's a circle in the center. Thanks a lot.